Good morning everyone, it's Monday the 21st of February. I hope you're all okay, I know we've had a bit of a, a, a strong winds over the, over the course of the weekend here in the UK, so a lot of us are you know, still dealing with the aftermath of that. I hope you're all safe. I still believe some of these winds are still picking up throughout the day, so do take care still. I believe some, some of the parts of the country are going to get some serious rainfall. Look, what I'll do, um, I'm going to just discuss a few little things with you this morning. Just before I do, if you are watching this, please do hit the like, subscribe button, the bell notification. Obviously, show a bit of support because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't want me to be saying what I'm saying. It's quite clear. I know if you look at some of the previous comments, I've had a lot of BBC trolls after me, all because, uh, you know, I have an opinion about what I personally feel towards Alex Belfield, not what everyone else feels, what I feel, myself, my personal opinion, I'm allowed that. I know that a lot of you lefty people and trolls from the BBC won't allow that, but I am allowed my own opinion. I know you don't want us to have that, and that is not the society we will ever live in. You will never, ever win doing it that way. So please change your goals, change the way you operate. Um, I will say, though, if you are a committed troll, keep at it. Your commitment's great, you're really good, but you're just uh, you're not good enough to defeat me. Um, you might have got um, Alex Belfield to leave, but you won't get me to leave, Sonny Jim. That's correct, anyway. Right, what I'm going to just discuss a minute. Uh, obviously, with with the likes of the UK actually coming to all of, hopefully, the, the end of all restrictions uh, by Thursday, by the looks of it, is what Boris is looking to announce, hopefully, today. And again, with the likes of the Queen, who actually currently has COVID, and you know, is still willing to go and continue doing royal duties. I think it says everything about COVID and, and Omicron and how strong it really is, because don't forget, she is the Queen of England. This lady is one of the most powerful people in the world. And I'm pretty sure that all of the science and all the advice that she's getting is next to nothing. There will not be better advice or science that's given to her to tell her what to do in, in regards to her recent infection with COVID. So just a little message to all the other world leaders that are currently holding all of the restrictions against their people. I think you need to have a good hard look in the mirror and realize the damage that you're not just doing to your country, but to, the, to individual people and their businesses, to the likes of your children not being able to go to school properly. I think you really need to face up to, to what you're actually you're doing. And I know the mainstream media and you know, the the likes of these uh, liberal lefties just, just really will not let us get back to a normal life. They don't want us to have a normal life because for them, they, they don't want us all to have the same life they're having. They don't want everyone to have the same. They don't want everyone to be equal. I know that's impossible in this world, but they shouldn't be trying to force us to, you know, to, to stop us being who we, who we want to be. So, you know, bring it on. But what I'm going to talk about is obviously with the Queen, uh, you know, with her restrictions... You know, with the UK restrictions comes in, the Queen still being prepared to, to do a royal duties. I just want to know why people like CNN have come out this weekend. Yes, CNN have come out and said that face masks are, are like face decorations. I mean, who are they trying to kid? This is, you know, I'm sorry, America, if you are listening to this, anyone in America, do you really buy this propaganda from the CNN? I mean, what the way they go on about, we're going to see these face masks in Paris, you know, in... Uh, up in Paris next year in the fashion week, are we? We're going to see all these these professional models, you know, for uh, all these big companies. You know, they're, what they're going to be wearing face masks designed by their logos. I well, actually, it probably wouldn't surprise me to be honest with with the likes of what's going on. Look, what I will say is, I just want to really bring you back to with 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 the likes of restrictions actually ending. I think it's quite clear to see that Labour really don't want that to happen, and mainstream media. I can see there's a big push, even though Boris is trying to bring the restrictions to the end on Thursday. The likes of Labour and mainstream media are trying to make him feel that he's moving too quick and this isn't the right way to go. But, I mean, I don't know how you all feel about that. Let me know in the comments behind. But certainly for me, I'm done with all restrictions. I have been for a long time. Um, ever since, really, Omicron has hit, I've really made the decision to carry on living my life as normal. And I hope all of you are doing the same. Um, I, I know for some of you in different countries, it's not been so easy. So please do let me know in the comments below how you have been finding your your struggles in your country. But I mean, really, what I want to say is that, you know, with, with the likes of mainstream and, and Labour trying to, you know, stop the speed of, of restrictions ending. I think you just need to ask yourself, 
you know, why are they doing this and what are they getting out of this? You know, for me, I know it wasn't even Boris really, you know, I'm not going to give even Boris a credit for the end of restrictions because it really was the backbenchers. You know, Labour have voted with Boris the whole way through this. There has been no opposition in the UK to restrictions at all. Um, I'm not really sure what science they're following anymore in Labour, you know, or SAGE. SAGE seem to be saying that restrictions can't be ended. You know, I did hear something even of, you know, it, it, when when Omicron was, was happening in, in Africa, the European agencies were pleading with the African doctors to say that this wasn't, uh, you know, this wasn't a weak strain. They were, they were trying to, to get them to tell the Europeans, including the UK, that this strain was still very deadly and we should carry on with our lockdown measures. I just want to say thank you to all the backbenchers in Conservative who actually stood up for our rights and anyone else that voted against uh, more restrictions. Uh, yeah, you know, you guys will be remembered in the next election for certain. And I promise you, you will be. And, it, and if you're in the red wall seats there that, you know, change to blue, how do you feel about Labour's position through um, COVID? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. I think we'll leave it here for a minute today and we'll come back a little bit later with a weather report as well, if you like. All right, we'll catch you later. Thank you, bye.